In this video, you will witness some of the true goats of GTA Online. In fact, one of them were so skilled that literally 80% of the fight I had to hide under a building. So the first session, I was just doing some grinding because I'm really good at it. And while I was making some fat cash, I noticed this brown CEO killing a lot. So I couldn't help but check if he were to be hostile to me as well. Okay, so that wasn't very impressive by me, but at least we got a fight on our hands now. Now, being the naive man I am, I thought this guy would have the balls to fight, you know, considering he's dressed like a PvP player has a high KD, and is a dodgy player. I guess he just dropped his balls, because when I went after him, he just went straight down to the sewers looking for them. Ah! Oh brother, this guy stinks! A few minutes later. But you know, eventually, this guy finally re-emerges from the sewer like the rat he is. I don't get it. Is that all you do every time you get killed? You just teleport to the orb to get your score back? Like, it's so effortless. And to everybody's surprise, this guy's really bright as well. Sweetie, what is your condition? How should I know? I'm retarded! Yeah. So I drove to the underpass here to be safe from his orb. Which I wasn't allowed to apparently, because this Pablo looking ass guy came to arrest me. Pablo. Is this game? <laughs> okay, so this guy is just more stupid than I thought. So apparently he got the glitch scorecard. That's what he's bragging about. And you can tell that it's glitched because in this notification, I am the one who gets the kill. And we all know when I got my first kill, the score was one to one. And he seems to be aware of that as well. When I told him it was a glitch score, this is what I got back. I then informed this guy that it was all recorded and he could see the score for himself. Now, this is not me bragging about having a YouTube channel or anything. That's just cringe. It is the sole purpose of just proving this guy wrong and showing him the evidence.
So it's cringe to do YouTube now, but it wasn't before. I don't get it. What's cringe to me though is acting like this and playing for score in 2024. In your heart, you know he's right. For our next encounter, I had just joined the lobby and uh Hmm. I wonder what he wants. I'm only using the Mark II to counter his tank, alright? I'll promise to tie my hands behind my back after. Oh my god, bro. I am purely virgin! What, what were you expecting? Well, it looks like we got another gamer on our hands. But here's where things start to get interesting. He teleported down to the airport to get a plane. And he grabbed the... A Titan? And I think we all can figure out what's gonna happen next. And as if that wasn't enough, he teleported back home and grabbed the Mark II. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let the clip speak for themselves. This is all that went on for like 45 minutes. Every time I locked onto him, or we're just even close to sniping him, or hitting the Mark II itself, he would just teleport home. He would also go off radar all the time just to kill other people in the lobby. But this guy wouldn't be the only sad individual to join the lobby. Great, a thermal subrat. What have I even done to him? God, I love being me sometimes. I wasn't expecting him to TP on me. Since he had been going ghost so many times before without doing it, I wasn't really expecting it. So, fast forward another 30 minutes of him just doing the same stuff over and over. I grab the Savage to try and just go head to head with him. Yeah, looks like I underestimated how fat the savage is and wasn't able to dodge. Am I so out of touch? You're out of touch. I'm out of touch. But at least he's out fighting now, right? So I can try and snipe him. Like, 
I kid you not when I say that 90% of the fights are like this nowadays. So like, there's no content to get. The community and player base is just so sad. Especially if you are a creator. You either get jumped by kids that think the game is some esport and that scores everything, or it's some adult virgins who got nothing else to life than score. And if it's not that, you'll get jumped by other creators trying to fight you, and then they act like they don't know you because they failed so bad. Or you get edited and framed to be a griefer and a douchebag by a creator that also paint themselves to be on the quote-unquote good side. Like, I get what score tryhards post scores and expos and so on, but when another uh, anti-griefer slash tryhard creator frames another anti-tryhard griefer channel just to get attention or clout or like, what? <laughs> anyway. Fortunately, there are some overweight and smelly creators that actually have some common sense to them and make this community actually okay. And you'll find them down in the description if you want to smell them for yourself. For our third encounter, there was this brown NC in the lobby fighting a lot, especially this XYZ guy. They were being hostile to pretty much anyone around, so I basically just joined in. And so it begins. Do it again! I wasn't looking! Better! 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 I am better! One million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later. <laughs> finally! So finally I caught a break and killed this guy in his evil loop. But I fumbled immediately after. So now, the fight continued on ground. I am purely virgin! It was pretty obvious this guy got mad for getting beaten. And the following conversation with him is, uh, concerning. <laughs> Trust me, it get worse. Are you dumb? <laughs> no. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Like, I thought people who cared for score would be good at counting. Unless this guy got a glitch scorecard as well. But knowing how this conversation went on to be, I'll go with the first option. I then told him he was all recorded, so if he wanted to look stupid, I mean, that's fine by me. 
bruh. Uh, I mean, sure. Thank <laughs> you.